Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dial. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. If you're out there and you love this podcast and give us a rating and review, the more positive rating reviews that we get on those platforms, the more those platforms actually show this podcast to people who have never listened to it before, which allows this podcast to grow and allows us to positively impact more people's lives as well. So if you would do that, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Today, we're going to dive into momentum and how you can find your momentum. I think that one of the most under underestimated, underrated pieces of life and success is momentum. All too often, I find people that start to get momentum into something and then they give up and they start to get momentum into something and then they give up. And all too often, we give up right before we start getting a whole lot of momentum on our side to get us where we want to go. We give up and then we start something new and then we find something new. We work at it for a little while and then we give up and we start something new because we don't have all of the momentum. It seems like we're putting in so much effort, but we're not getting the results that we want right now. And the way I like to think of it, the visual I always think about, I don't know if you've ever been like me and had like a really shitty car. I've had a shitty car before that broke down a lot. One of the reasons why I just wanted to make money and be successful is so I could just have a reliable car. And I've been on the side of the road before and had to push my car by myself. And if you've ever pushed a car before, it, it hurts. It's hard to get that car moving. But once the car is moving, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to keep it moving. And so what happens is I think a lot of people give up before they get, quote unquote, the car in their life moving before they get a little bit of momentum on their side. And so they get a little bit of momentum, tiny bit. And then they're like, oh, man, this is so hard. I'm putting in so much effort. And then they give up. And guess what? The car, obviously the car is just a metaphor. The car stops. And what do we have to do? We have to start pushing the car again. And so really what I want you to start focusing on is momentum. How can I get this going from, because it's always hard to go from zero to 60 and then it's from 60 to 120. Every single car, it's harder to go from zero to 60. It takes a lot more effort. It takes a lot more pedal to the metal to go from zero to 60 than it does to go from 60 to 120. And so that's how life is in your life. That's how success is in your life. And this relates to so many different places in your life. Like if you, let's just take fitness. I love fitness as an example, and I use it so much in this podcast because fitness is something you can see physically in your body. You can see the physical manifestation based off of what we've been doing in the past. Like mindset is great and I love it. Obviously, I have a podcast called The Mindset Mentor, but you can't physically see mindset, but you can physically see the way that you've been taking care of yourself. And so when we take working out, for instance, maybe you haven't worked out in a while. Maybe you haven't worked out ever or very little and you know that you should. The first few weeks of working out, let's just be real. They're going to be a bitch. They are. You're going to work and you're not going to get a whole lot of results that you really want. It's going to be tough. It's going to be more than you've ever, you're going to sweat more than you ever have. And you're going to wake up sore as hell. Like I remember one time I didn't work out for over a year because I was so busy in my business. And I went and worked out my arms really hard. And my arms, for those of you guys that can't see me and you just listen to the podcast, like I could not move my arms below 90 degrees. Like I could not put them all the way down because it felt like I was ripping my, <laughs> it felt like I was ripping my biceps apart. And so sometimes that's how it is where the first few weeks of something like getting the car moving takes a lot. It takes more willpower than it does everything else. And it's, it feels unnatural because it's not what we have been doing. But then here's what happens. Three weeks in, four weeks in, you step on the scale and you see a different number than you did before. You look in the mirror and you see a little bit of change in your body. You know, if you're a skinny guy, like I was always a really skinny guy, the first time I saw like a muscle, like literally a, a tiny little muscle pop up, I was like, holy shit, this is working. And that little bit got me excited to keep pushing through. Sometimes if you lose your first five pounds and you see that number drop on the scale, and the, the number on the scale is not the most important thing. Taking care of yourself is the most important thing. But you see that number drop on the scale, you're like, oh my God, this is working. That's your first little bit of momentum. And you keep going and you're kind of, it's kind of like you get excited about doing this. And what happens is at the beginning, it feels very unnatural, but it starts to feel more and more natural. You got the momentum, the mo's on your side. And when the momentum is on your side, it becomes harder to stop. 
So imagine pushing this car and it's, oh God, it's so much work getting that car moving, but eventually it's moving. It's moving. It would be really hard to then run from the back of the car to the front of the car and try to stop the car. It's going to run you over most likely. You're not going to be strong enough to stop it. It becomes harder to stop once you start to get that momentum on your side. And if you've ever been in a great workout routine, it can become like addicting. It could become exciting and you start getting excited to go to the gym. And can you fall off? Yeah, I've done it before. I've worked out four, five, six. There was one time in my life for like nine months, I was working out seven days a week. And it was just, I was only going because it was addicting. It felt good. I felt excited about it. Well, I fell off at one point in time. That was years ago, right? Now it's four times a week. And sometimes it's three when I'm out of town. And it's like, I got to keep the momentum going. I don't ever want to go. And this is just a, a tip on momentum. I don't ever want to go more than, than two days. So like if I can't do it on Monday, I have to do it on Tuesday. No, no if, ands, buts about it. I can't go two days without doing it. This is another thing like waking up early, right? It's hard at first. Oh, shit. It's so hard. I'm the type of person I can sleep like too much. Like I, my body for some reason loves sleeping. Like my best friend and business partner, he sleeps like five hours a night and that's all he can do. That's awesome. I wish I could do that. But for me, waking up, it's hard. Like I'm not the type of person that just jumps out. I'm like, yippity doo let's take on the day. I'm the person that the alarm goes off and I'm like, fuck, I'm deep in sleep. Like I could stay here for a long time. I could sleep for 10, 12 hours and be completely fine. But when you first decide that you want to start waking up, if you normally wake up at eight and you're like, you know what? I want to wake up at six so that I have two hours of myself. I can create my morning routine. I could do my workouts. I could do whatever it is that I want to do. It feels very unnatural. But then you start waking up and it becomes a little bit easier. It becomes a little bit easier and it becomes a little bit easier. That's starting to get momentum on your side. And then the car's really rolling and you wake up before your alarm and you're like, whoa, this is actually starting to feel more natural as well. And this happens everywhere in life is you have to search for the momentum in your life. And when it's there, don't let it stop. Starting a business, God, starting a business. I don't know why people think like being an entrepreneur is the best thing in the world. It's hard. It's like wake. I always say <laughs> signing up to be an entrepreneur is basically waking up and a signing up to get punched in the face every day. Like there's so many challenges, so many struggles. The first month, two months, three months, six months, it can be hard, but you're actually starting to change your mind. You're starting to change your routine. You're starting to change who you are to become this business owner, to become this, this entrepreneur. And it takes time, but eventually you get to a point, like I've been running businesses now for 16 years. It's not hard to get myself up and, and start going immediately and to start working and to get on a team calls and to go from one Zoom call to another, to another, to another, to getting on a podcast and, and doing all the stuff that I do. But it was, it was hard at first, like really, really hard at first. Nothing new is ever really easy in the beginning. And what's crazy about it is that it's usually hard at the beginning and then it gets harder for a little while and then it starts to become much easier. Everything is going to be, like if you just go into your life and expect that there will be struggle in everything that you do, the first time you do something or as you're starting to build momentum, just expect the struggle. And that makes it so much easier versus just thinking, oh, I'm going to start this new business and everything's going to be so amazing. Like if you go into it with that mindset, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not always going to be amazing. And sometimes you're going to get blindsided with stuff. But when you start to feel like the car is moving, because sometimes when you start, you feel like you're just spinning your tires and the car's not moving at all. But when you start to feel a little, you get a little win, you've got to keep that momentum going. And it's much easier to stop at the very beginning than it is to stop when you've been doing something for months. Like the way I always think of it, the, the visual I always think of that I've said quite a few times in this podcast is if we go and we take a 15 pound bowling ball and we go to the top of a really tall hill and we just let it go. We don't even push it. We just let it go and it starts rolling down the hill. If you're 10 feet away from where it starts and you put your hand out, it's not really hard to stop that thing when it's gone 10 feet. But if you're at the top of a really tall hill and it's 400 yards to the bottom, that bowling ball is going to get momentum, momentum, momentum. And there's so much momentum that it becomes hard to actually stop yourself. And so you can stop a bowling ball that's 15 pounds, 10 feet after it stops rolling or after it starts rolling, right? 
400 yards after it's rolling, if you put your hand out, it's going to break every bone in your hand. That's what we're trying to get our life to, is there's so much momentum, there's so much positive momentum, there's so much energy around something that stopping it actually feels harder than to continue to keep going. Like, that's what we want, is the going, the momentum is so strong on our side that stopping it would be harder. That's what we're trying to work for. If your life feels like you're stagnant, if you feel like you haven't been moving in the, in the direction that you want to, it is a process. If you feel like you've been stagnant, most of the time, if you feel stagnant in any place in your life, the reason why you feel stagnant is because you are not growing in that place. You know, if your relationship feels stagnant, it's because you're not growing in that relationship. Guaranteed. You and your partner are not working on making that relationship better, on ex making it more expansive. If you feel like you're stagnant in your business, it's probably because you are not growing. You're not learning more. You're not reading the business books. You're not hiring the mentor that would help you. You're not getting better as a leader. So if you feel like your life is stagnant, you've got to search for places to grow to get more momentum on your side because it will be like pushing the car. And I always, I always want to be moving, to be leaning forward versus leaning backwards. Because if you take action, action always creates more action. Inaction always creates more inaction. Humans were not meant to be inactive. Have you ever seen, you know, if you go to the Discovery Channel and you see about like the Hadza tribe that's over in Africa, they don't just hang out and do nothing all day long. Like there's some pretty intense videos of them on hunts and, and feeding and providing and building their structures and a storm will come and then they'll have to rebuild their structures and then they got to hunt again and then they got to raise their children and they've got to do what they need to do in order to, to move along and to be able to keep progressing and growing, right? So humans were not meant to be inactive. We were not meant to just sit on our couch and just flick our thumb up to see things on a little tiny screen. We weren't meant to just lay down all day long on the weekend and then just watch something on TV, watch Netflix or watch football. And there's nothing wrong, just let me say this real quick. There's nothing wrong with Instagram. There's nothing wrong with Netflix. And there's nothing wrong with football. But it can't be the majority of your life is in action. We were meant to be active. That's the power of finding the momentum though. It's like pushing the car. It's really hard at first. Expect that it's not going to be all sunshine and rainbows. Expect, like you can't, here in Austin, it's been, besides today, today's the first time the sun has been out in the past like five days. It was just raining and it was crap weather and just wasn't great and all of this stuff. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. But it can't be that way forever. It can't be that way forever as well. Like you can't always expect that it's going to be really hard because it won't always be really hard. It will get easier. You can't always expect that it's always going to be easy though. Lots of people though, they stop too soon. They stop once they get the ball rolling. You have to stop and start again and stop and start again and stop and start again. And people get excited at the beginning and then they give up. They get a case of what I like to call the I deserve it's. Oh, I had a great week of sales. I'm going to take this next week off because I did, you know, had such a great week of sales. Oh, I, I lost 10 pounds. I deserve to have an extra ice cream. I lost 10 pounds. I deserve to have my little snack that I want. And it starts to, and we're actually, instead of working and progressing, we're actually regressing. We're going backwards. Oh, you know what? I got, um, I got a great tax return, $5,000. I'm going to go spend it. I'm going to go out for a couple extra lunches, whatever it is. And what happens is then your bank account goes down and down and down and it goes back to where it was before. And so if you want to maintain your current life, fine, go for it. I'm assuming though, if you listen to this podcast, you don't want to maintain. You want to grow. You want to expand. You want to become even better in everything that you do. You have to, if that is you, you want to grow and you want to get better. You have to find momentum. You have to fight through the hard part. But then once the momentum is there, you've got to be aware that it's there and you've got to keep working towards it. Because what would your life look like if you never gave up on that thing that you gave up years ago? What would your life look like if you never gave up on that diet and that workout plan that you were doing so well at four years ago? What would your life, life look like if you didn't give up on that business that was starting to go well, but then you got in your own head because you were working too hard or whatever it was? What would your life look like if you stopped giving up, if you worked through the hard parts, if you found the momentum, and if you continued to find that momentum and keep pushing and keeping that car going? 
you have a completely different life. Well, maybe you did give up on something in the past, but if you can find the momentum now and not give up, your life will be absolutely 100% unrecognizable to you as you are right now. If you can find that thing, work towards it, find the momentum and just keep the momentum going. So when you find the momentum, when you notice the momentum, when you feel positive movement on your side, keep it going. Don't allow it to stop. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories and tag me in at Rob Dial Jr., R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. And I'm going to leave it the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make somebody else's day better. I appreciate you, and I hope that you have an amazing day.